This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. We should also mention that uh, as we're having lots of talent come into the company, unfortunately, we're seeing some talent come out of the company, or at least off camera. On February 6th, Jason Jordan would have neck surgery for a herniated disc. And the surgery is that he has uh, a posterior cervical microdisectomy to decompress the nerve tissue uh, or the nerve issue rather that caused the problems. And at the time, Jason is in a storyline with Kurt Angle as his son. But even now, I don't think we've seen Jason since then. Uh, it maybe could have been an interesting angle, but he's a guy who a lot of folks saw a big upside in at the time he was, uh, recently off a tag team with Chad Gable. Did you work with Jason at all? What do you think his upside could have been? I worked with him, uh, under both circumstances that, you know, as a performer, and then when he got hurt, they wanted to put him in the producer chair. So he got to come to some meetings and sit in with me on some matches. I got to know where his head was at him and Gable were a great team. Yes, they were. They were damn good, and they could have been pushed to incredible heights because they were legitimate number one amateur wrestlers. My God, Gable was Olympian. And and Jason had a lot of success as an amateur. But, you know, more importantly, they were a really, really good team. But when Jason, when his neck started bothering him, you can use all that all that highfalutin uh, terminology you just used, which was uh, very impressive, by the way, all those medical issues all come down to this. He developed a bad neck. And when you get a bad neck in this business, I'm the first one that can tell you everything else starts to fall in line with the bad neck. He had the grip issues that I had. He's, you know, right by the thumb and the first finger, that indention started to make its way all the same symptoms of what I had. And I just, I didn't want to discourage him. And I just said, Hey, keep, you know, keep your therapy up, keep doing all the things that, that uh, you've been told as far as the doctors go, I would say, go to a chiropractor, go to a massage therapist, do all the extra things that you can possibly do to arrest this where it is right now. And I think it continued a downhill slope. And it's one of those things that when your neck, when you have a bad neck in this business, it just kind of affects everything else in your body eventually, if it's one of those deals. And it was one of those deals because he hasn't been in a ring since then, probably won't be in a ring unless some miracle cure comes up. And he was one of the guys that I think had a lot of talent had a great mind for the business, had a great attitude as far as being in the locker room. You know, he had all, and he had a look in his eye. If you just, if you know what I'm talking about, you can look at a guy and he has this look in his eye that, you know, he's for real or for damn sure. He believes he's for real. And sometimes that's all it takes uh, to be legitimate is you just got to believe in yourself. And that guy believed in himself and he had that, he had that eye of the tiger to be cliche, which is silly to say, but he had it. And uh, it's one of those lost talents that, that people will go back and go, let's see, we'll, we'll pull up some footage. I don't remember him. Damn, he was good. And they were good as a team. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.